Hello everyone, so two years ago I uploaded this video which is a tutorial about how to create a telegram messaging bot uh, The thing we've done is to a uh, user send a message to the bot and the bot replies to him So after two years the library uh, has been updated if you write the same code in the tutorial uh, It will give you some errors. So now I decided to create a series uh, where we'll have a basic te te messaging telegram bot and we'll also be able to send photos, receive photos, documents, files, etc. and also how to create a database and save data inside it so, uh, but it will be split into different videos so let's start this one uh, by creating also a basic uh, messaging telegram bot uh, we'll be using the telegram.bot library its source code is available here also you have the wiki you can explore it it has a lot of tutorials, uh, for example, uh, how to send text, photos uh, with example codes. You can explore it as well. So, uh, first of all, I'll be using Visual Studio uh, 2017. Uh, no matter what version you are using, it's okay. I start by creating a new project. It's a console application. You can also use Windows Forms if you want to add controls and user interface and etc. But for now, it's a console application. Let me know in the comments section what features do you want uh, in the bot and uh, if you want a Windows Forms application or WPF. I'll go now for Telegram messaging bot as a console application. So first things first, uh, we have to add it as manage new get packages browse telegram .bot. i have it in my history uh, the latest stable version is 15.7.1 of course if you're watching this video later you may find the newer version it's okay download the newer version okay i accept so it's downloaded now i will go to my program I will start by defining the bot which is telegram bot client equal new of course it did not detect it so I can press control dot and add the using new telegram bot client as you can see now it asks me for the token this token is used uh, to let telegram knows that I am the owner of this bot but we have not created a bot yet, so we go to Telegram, we search for bot father, and we ask him to create a new bot. Of course, you can see also your bots to manage them, but we'll create a new bot here. Uh, what should I name it? YouTube underscore tutorial underscore uh, messaging bot, for example. Uh, never mind and now your username uh, should be uh, should end with the word bot so I'll just take this out and add bot like this now uh, bot father gave me this token and gave me the link uh, to my bot I'll just copy the token and I can go to my bot now as you can see this is the name and this is the username so I'll add the token here like this I should tell this is my client I should tell him sorry I added in the wrong place it should be inside the class and it should be static so I can use it here I'll uh, write st start receiving so here the, uh, at this point the client is ready I can start receiving messages from users and uh, I will have them here but first let's make a small introduction uh, now this is the class of my bot so to explore what features I can use I can go to go to definition it's here and as I can see I have a lot of events that I can subscribe to I have a lot of functions that I can do uh, the functions are like uh, start receiving stop receiving uh, send text message send video send audio send uh, document etc and the events are like on message when a user sends me a message uh, when a message was edited when a message is updated uh, and I have a lot of other things these events I can subscribe to uh, so for example uh, whenever a user sends me a message uh, I want to have uh, to know this so if I can go here it's the on message event 
so I can simply write bot dot on message and press plus equal and Visual Studio suggests that he can continue here I press tab after pressing tab uh, I have now this uh, event of course to prevent uh, this program from closing directly I should put console.readline so now uh, whenever I receive a message from the client uh, I, whenever I re receive a message from the user uh, the program will throw an exception let's try it now I press start it threw an, uh, an exception of course in the debugger I can see uh, E what does E contains uh, I can go here to the immediate e dot message for example like this I can see what's inside it I can go to e dot message dot text and see that he's sent me start etc this is just for debugging it's not really the thing uh, so now as you can see the bot dot message uh, send me uh, a message event arcs of course I should explore it to see what it provides it provides a property which is a message the message that the user sent me which is an object it contains if the user sent me a voice it's a voice or a video note or a location or a contact etc uh, I have a lot of things uh, there are things that are important like message type which tells me what is uh, the type of the message sent it has of course I'm pressing F12 on the keyboard you can also uh, go and press go to definition as well it does the same thing go to definition the type of message can be a text a photo an audio a video etc so let me do uh, something simple if e dot message dot message type dot type sorry equals equals this one dot text let me just tell him hello and his username uh, sorry bot dot send message async uh, he asks me for a chat ID and for the text I want to set chat ID is available here e dot message dot chat dot ID very straightforward and let me tell him hello and his username E dot message dot chat dot username so basically this object chat is uh, the user this uh, chat uh, interface so this is his username like this let's try it start hello medicrain like this this is my username which is medicrain so uh, let's do things more for example let's try other things like send contact for example he asks me of course always for the chat ID for the phone number and for the first name and the last name optionally and I have a lot of other optional things so let's do things e dot message dot chat dot ID I'll send him the phone number uh, let me write any random number now uh, and first name which is my name Ibrahim like this so now whenever he sends me a text message he will receive a contact card which is my name and my phone number which is a fake number of course uh, we can do a lot of other stuff now you can customize it so for example if he sends you I'll do a small example so you can see uh, something useful it's not very useful but it's okay uh, e dot message dot text uh, that starts with slash count like this so basically what with this will do is uh, the user will send me slash count uh, and between parentheses he'll put a text and my bot will uh, send him back the number of letters in his sentence so if he sends me a text that starts with count like this and he writes anything here uh, the bot will send him back uh, the number of letters used so uh, I'll do string response equals you uh, the number of letters 
in your text is let me do this a response plus equal now I should count it so e dot message dot text dot split now it splits on the first parenthesis I will take the second part then I'll split on the closing parenthesis and I will take the first part and then I'll put the count and then to string now bot dot send text message async e dot message dot chat sorry dot chat dot id and response let's try this out that's it 29 for example let's try this again and add a lot of text and now it sends me uh, the number of letters so uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed and I hope you, you learned from this tutorial uh, please let me know in the comments what other features you want uh, like sending photos sending documents videos receiving uh, doing a poll and uh, other stuff uh, and uh, thank you if you have any other question you can write it in the comment also you can contact me on telegram uh, my username is at midocrine like this you can write it and you can text me anytime and i can help you with your code with your errors and uh, with suggestions on anything else thank you for watching goodbye